Okay, so now that we've downloaded the Explorer for ArcGIS app, we want to continue without sign-in, which is the option at the very bottom of the screen. So we select that, and it loads the typical Esri maps that are free and ava freely available. So we want to go to the top left corner, select the menu, and under search we select Find Maps, and we type in Wexford, select it, and it presents all the maps within this app that are Wexford based. Here are the ones at the top that are uh, created by Wexford County Council. So you have Wexford, all the schools of Wexford, planning applications in Wexford, accessible parking across the county, uh, the Wexford walking trails, uh, Wexford projected structures, the Wexford Eurovella 1 proposed route, and last but not least, the Wexford Harbour navigation. We're going to focus on this one for the video, but all the other maps have the similar functionality and work in the same way. So this video will, be, will apply to all. So we'll select the map and it loads the Wexford Harbour navigation map and loads the aerial photography for Wexford Harbour. So the next layer that will appear then are your navigation boys. So red for port and green for starboard. So as we zoom in, we just pinch zoom to zoom in and labels should appear on our uh, navigation boys and there you go. So there's number 21 and number 20. Uh, it's important to point out if you're navigating into the harbour, make sure you have your location button turned on. So all I did was drag my finger from the north to south on the top of the screen and you get more options. So to the left of sound, you have an option for location. That's basically your GPS. You turn that on before you uh, get into the app. I'm not going to do that for the purpose of this demo today. Okay, so we zoom in and we select number 21. It selects the green icon. And the three dots here to the right will give you more details. So we select details, and there's more information about boy number 21. So there's all the attributes related to it. And if you note on the bottom of the screen, you have a one of two. So we'll select two of two, and that's an image of the boy. And this is the image that you uh, will, if you like, confirm that you are passing the correct boy uh, when navigating into the harbor. So we we'll just hit the back button on the top left of the screen. And if you want to zoom out, you can do a quick double tap just with one finger rather than using having to use finger and thumb. This might be useful for those wearing gloves. So double tap to zoom in and a double tap and on the second tap, drag your finger to the north to zoom out. So I'm selecting the screen once and on the second select, I hold my finger on the screen and drag to the north and that allows you zoom out. So this gives you the option to navigate using, just using one finger. Useful for those that are uh, navigating wearing gloves and what have you while out on the boat. Okay, so it's important to point out that if you have moisture in your hands, this will reduce the functionality when using this app. So that's, that's quite important to remember as well. So hopefully this is of use to you. Uh, the other thing to point out is that on the bottom of the screen here, you have your GPS icon. You need to hit that every so often to correct your position when you're using the GPS navig navigation. So if you select that, in this case, it says turn on location services to allow Explorer to determine your location. If you hit settings, it goes straight into your location. You can turn it on and just hit the back button and then you hit your GPS again and it will try and locate you. So obviously it's located me at County Hall in Wexford. Okay, thank you for watching from the GIS section, Wexford County Council.